Hey, I just wanted to give a quick thanks to one of our sponsors of the Simple Program, which is Dev Mountain Bootcamp. You should go check them out. The link is in the description. They are a coding bootcamp and they can teach you web development, iOS development, UX design, a lot of good stuff. I get a lot of feedback from a lot of you out there that email me and have told me about Dev Mountain, so I decided to check them out myself. And I, I like what I found. I like their programs. They offer uh, some 12 week intensive programs. They also offer some after hours programs, which I know that some of you will like. So go check them out. You can see the link in the description below, Dev Mountain Bootcamp, and a big thank you to them for sponsoring Simple Programmer. Hey, what's up, John Sonmez here from simpleprogrammer.com. So I have gotten a few questions about how to get your boss to let you work from home. A lot of people are interested in remote jobs. I should have a playlist of remote job type of videos I've done because so many people are interested in that. I have a pretty extensive history with working remotely, meaning that I've worked remote jobs and technically now I, I just sit in my office all day and, and work remotely. <laughs> But I work for myself, so I, I don't know if that counts. But I have worked on remote teams. My team is Simple Programmer. We're remote, we're all distributed. There's no one, there's no one around me. You know, everyone that's on my team is, is somewhere else, either across the country or in a different country. So, so we, we do a lot of remote work. So I can talk to you from two perspectives. One, as a person who has gotten remote jobs and worked remotely as an employee and as a person who would hire and work with remote developers, remote people, in, in some of those considerations. So if you want to convince your boss to let you work from home, uh, also, by the way, this is not an original idea. There's, uh, in Tim Ferriss's book, The 4-Hour Workweek, he talks about this and he gives some strategies. So I'm gonna give you some of my strategies. Some of them are gonna mirror his, but you can you can check that out. If you haven't read 4-Hour Workweek, you, you probably wanna read that. It's, it's a good book. It's the seminal book in, in the vagabond type of lifestyle business that some of you would like to to have although it, it's not quite as, as lucrative as <laughs> it's not quite as cracked up as as uh, as some people think it is but hey you know it is it is what it is so let's, let's talk about first of all let's say that I'm gonna go with the premise that you already have a regular job and you're trying to get to the ability to work remotely, not that you're trying to get a remote job. Again, you can check out the other videos I did on getting a remote job if, you, if you're interested in that. So let's say that you're working at a company and you're like, man, I really should be able to work remotely. It'd be so much more fun if I could just sit in my underwear and code. Uh, you know, that I, I have to agree with you, sitting in your underwear and coding is, is a lot of fun, okay? So how could you do that? Well, here's the thing. And so again, talking from the boss's perspective, the big thing with letting people work remotely is that you gotta trust them, okay? Are they actually getting work done? And, 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 and if you think that they might be getting more work done remotely, that's a big benefit. So as an employee trying to get a job or trying to get your boss to work remotely, you have to give the impression, you have to really sell that you're going to be able to get more work done. So how do you do this? One suggestion I would have is that you ask your boss that, or you have some reason that you have to stay home for, for something and you, you say, hey, I, I need to stay home on this day, I'm waiting for the cable guy or whatever, do you mind if I work remotely for this, this one day and try it out and I'll, you know, I'll, I'll check in with you, I'll, I'll get a bunch of work done. And on that day when you work remotely, you just kick ass, okay? You do a ton of stuff, you, you get a lot of work done, you're totally responsible and you, you, you have something, some outcome to produce from that and then you report it back to your boss. You say, you know what? Man, I got so much work done on Thursday when I worked from home, when I was waiting for the cable guy. Uh, it, I didn't realize that in the office here, I have so many interruptions and so many things come in, but I was able to sit at my desk and I was able to focus. And I, I, I think I actually put in more hours than I really should have because I was, I was just so into my work and so excited about it, right? You know, don't bullshit, don't, don't make up stuff you know, make that the actual true honest thing, but figure out, figure out how you can frame it, how you can reframe something so that it's, it's going to be beneficial. It, it makes sense. And you, and there should be real benefit here. Again, I'm not telling you to lie. I'm not telling you to bullshit. People can see through that, but you got to think about this ahead of time. 
and you actually have to do this, and you gotta think about all the benefits that are gonna to accrue to your boss, right? It is, it is better, probably, if you don't have to commute and waste time. You can spend more time. You could, you could mention, I spent the commute time working, or I, you know, I was able to get more stuff done. Right, think about those things. So that's, that's the key thing is uh, I would start off with that. Then after that, then I would approach your boss, right? After that's kind of settled in and I'd say, hey, look, you know, I, I had a real good experience working remotely. I'm, I'm hoping that we can, we can set something up. I'd, I'd really like to be able to work from home and I'd like to at least spend one day a week getting more stuff done, being focused where I'm not interrupted as much. You know, can we try something on a trial basis and if it doesn't work out, if you're not liking it, if you feel like I'm not producing as much, totally cool, we can roll it back. Right, so the, the idea there is to basically get a, a, a almost like a money back guarantee, right? It's like there's no risk here, it's not a commitment. We're just going to try. Can I just start working remotely every Tuesday or Thursday or whatever it is, okay, and, and work from home? And probably, right, if you did good, your boss would probably give you a chance. Not always, right? There might be some company policy against it, but if you could do that, or even if you can say, well, how about just a half day? How about just after lunch? I go home and I'll work the rest of the day. And you gotta kick ass, okay? You gotta do a really good job, and you gotta show that you're trustworthy and that you're reporting. Okay, if your boss has to ask you what you did or ask you the status of things, that's gonna be trouble, especially if he's used to coming to your cubicle and talking to you. So you have to be so self-reliant, so self-reporting, right? An entrepreneur where you are actually able to take what you're doing and give that out to management, right? That, that would be key there. So that's, that's how you can start, okay? And then if that works out, then you could see if you could expand it further, right? You, you might have to do something like move out of state or say that you're thinking about moving. You know, could, could you try working remotely first? Things like that. But you, you're gonna have to take it step by step and transition that and then you can pr probably eventually turn that into a remote job. And, and you could mention, you know, as if things are successful, you could say to your boss, hey look, this is what I'm, I'm looking at. You know, these are the pros and cons. This is the reason why I wanna work remotely. You know, I really, I like this company, I like this job, but I really, really wanna work a remote job. So it'd be so cool if we could figure out a way to make this job a remote job for me so that, you know, I, I can work harder. I can not be interrupted. I can, I can do that and, and I, I don't have to, I don't feel like I'm missing out, like I have to leave, right? Have some good reasoning why you're gonna benefit the company and also why it's important to you personally to work remotely, right? That, why it's important to you personally is gonna be a secondary thing. But I will tell you, again, you are gonna have to show a lot of self-motivation and initiative. And, and working by yourself, by the way, I'm not gonna to go too much into this because I've talked about this before, or working remotely, might not be all that it's cracked up to be. The, the trial, like trying that out, is probably good for you anyway, just so you can see what it's like. And I'll tell you, you know, sometimes like not having that, that social interaction and stuff, it, it can be kind of, kind of disheartening, okay? Sometimes I go to, down to the coffee shop and I'm like, who, who will talk to me? <laughs> or I just want to be where there's people, right? Instead of instead of stuck in my office all day, right? And I know that you all are, are my friends, but but you don't talk back to me except you leave some fucking nasty ass comment on my YouTube channel. But it, it's not the same thing. It's not it's not the same thing. Okay, you know what I'm talking about. So. Anyway, just consider that as well. And that's, I mean, it's, it's gonna be hard. I'll be honest with you, it's really hard to take an existing job and make it a remote job. But if you can do that, I think there's, there's a lot of benefits in it. I personally, I don't know, I, I mean, like I prefer working remote as far as getting stuff done. And especially if you're doing a side business and you're trying to like, you know, get out of the rat race and stuff because you don't have to commute, you got more time. You know, you can probably get your work done and then work on some of your stuff as long as that's that's cool with your boss, right? If you can get one of those jobs where, you know, just get your shit done and then whatever, and, and you can do that, th then working remotely really helps you there especially if you're doing some real estate investment and stuff, you gotta be on the phone doing loan stuff. You know, there's there, 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 there's some huge advantages there. Again, not saying to cheat your employer, obviously work your hours, right, that you're supposed to, like what is agreed upon, but there's definitely some benefits to being able to work remotely if you're, if you're trying to do that. But honestly, if you're trying to get a remote job, probably the best thing is gonna be to go for a remote job. Look for remote teams, right? Simple programmer here totally remote team, right? So if you wanted to get a job here, 
we wouldn't, I mean, maybe there'll be an office at some point, right? And, and, I, and I kind of sometimes think there, there's some advantage to having an office. Remote job is not just, you know, necessarily the best thing, but the, it, would, it would be the default, right? So look for companies where working remotely is the default, trying to get a company to get you to, or let you to work remote. It's gonna be harder, but you can do it. You know, it's just gonna take some time and it's, it's, it's gonna be somewhat of a tough sell. All right, I hope that helps you. Let me know if you've had success doing this. You know, it's always good to hear what other people have done. So leave a comment below if you were able to get your boss to let you work remote. Let's let's hear the story. Let's, let's talk about that. If you like this video, if you want more videos like this one, click that subscribe button below. Click the bell if you're crazy and you wanna get like every single video the second it comes out. I know some of you are, that's awesome. I will talk to you next time. Take care.